Hello, in this video I am going to show you how to emulate PlayStation 2 games on a Windows machine using PCSX2. If you're interested on Mac or Linux, I've got videos covering them, so feel free to check them out. So, PCSX2, great emulator, allows you to play PS2 games on your PC, so you can bring some you know, great life into all that library that you have. So I want to mention this is a video meant for educational purposes. Make sure you obviously own a PlayStation 2 for legal reasons, that you use the BIOS file from your PS2, or you know, you're know you using a BIOS file for days, you know, of that PS2 region and of that model, and that you own the game as well. So again, this video is not promoting piracy, this is just a video for educational purposes. So setting it up is actually pretty simple to be fair. If you just go to pcfx2.com and pcfx2, just Google it. I'm not, uh, dot net, sorry, dot net. I'll provide links to everything. There. And you go to the download area, go to Windows, and you want to select the standalone installer. And you click the download button over here. You'll start downloading it. I'm gonna cancel it because I've already got it downloaded. Next, we need the PS2 BIOS file. So if you go to PS2 BIOS and let's go to ROMs Mania. Click the download button. Just wait for this to start downloading. Again, I'm gonna cancel it because I've already downloaded it in advance. And now we're all good. We, we've downloaded everything that we need. So if we close down our browser, go to you know your download directory wherever that may be and for me i've got these two files here and i'll delete the folder i'll show you how to extract it and so if you use any tool you want i'm going to use the built-in windows tool just so this covers everyone click extract and this is the bio file that we'll need and we'll copy all these over very soon now you want to open up this exe customize this as you want the only two things i'll say select or don't select are these two these two you need to have installed so make sure you have these selected if you already have them installed then you just won't install them so i'm going to get rid of the desktop shortcut i prefer not to have desktop shortcuts as you can see my desktop is pretty clean and start menu shortcuts i don't mind having click next and you can install in the default directory or wherever you want i'm going to install it very folder specifically for games on another drive and I'm going to install it there. So install doesn't take long to install at all. And once that's done, so there's a few more seconds, and it should have successfully finished the installation process of PCSX2. Almost there, and we're done. So click close, open it up. So PCSX2. First time you load it up, it will take you to the first time configuration menu. You can change the language. I'm going to keep your system default. Click next. And if you want to modify or configure the plugins, you can. You can change it afterwards as well. If you want to change the path, you can, but recommend using everything as default. Click next. And now it's going to go to the BIOS section. So it wants a BIOS file. If we click Open in Explorer, to open where the BIOS files should be located, we want to copy all of these and paste them here. And now if we go back to PCSX2, click Refresh List. From here, select, you know, whether it's a Europe version, Japanese or USA, I'm going to select USA version. Click Finish. And... We got PCSX2 all loaded up now. To actually run a game, you go to CDVD, ISO selector, click browse, browse to wherever your ISO is. Recommend putting them all in one folder, but I'm only testing the one tech and four. So just double click that. And now once it's selected here, and you can select another one if you have another one there, you can run a disk if you have a disk. I'm just gonna be running the ISO that I've ripped. And you just go to here and go to run C D V D four. I'm gonna turn the volume up so you can hear the sound. There we go. And we can click the maximize so it maximizes it.
So I'm just going to skip this part. So I'm literally just using a controller that I've got connected up to it. And controllers work really well. The, for the most part, they plug and play. And so you can connect with like an Xbox controller, a PlayStation controller. And for the most part, they should work. If you have any questions regarding that, just let me know. So I just, I just turn the volume down a bit. I just show this working. So I'll choose law, why not? Let's go press X and circle, and it is pretty much an easy win, even against Share You. So if we click the X button, it just pauses it. So we can go back to here, click resume. The great thing about that is we can modify stuff. So if we go to like video, for example, plugin settings, we can start modifying all this. So we can change the internal resolution. We can change the render RAM. We can do that on, on, on the fly, change the shader, the software mode settings. You can change a bunch of other stuff as well. If you're interested in the controller section, you might be wondering why was it lagging for me? It's lagging because I am, you know, recording the video at the same time. When I'm not recording, that it's actually running smoother, 60 frames per second. So that's just something to bear in mind. And so, you, if you want to check out the controller section, go to here, plugin settings, and you can modify the controller. So you can, you know, test the device. I've got one connected, and literally, I've done no modifications, and it's worked out, you know, out of the box. So they've done a great job in making this. And it just works it just works flawlessly so just really really good and that's it that's how you set up pcsx2 on your windows machine to be able to emulate playstation 2 games if you have any questions feel free to pop me a message and as usual i look forward to seeing you in the next video